Hello everyone, welcome back to the next unit and this is your unit number 4, large language model. Now see, I have already uploaded the two videos, SQP1 and SQP2 and that two videos is based on your first three unit. Later after doing unit number 4, 5 and 6, I will upload one more videos for unit number 1, 2, 3 only. Just one video for first three unit. And you will get the questions of all the three units in that one video only. And you can go through the playlist to find all the videos. Hardly it will take 40 to 45 minutes to prepare all, all the questions. And this is more than enough for, it, for your exam if you, if you have the uh, idea about the concept. But I am not saying just rely on this video only. If you have an extra time, go through the PPTs or whatever resource you have. Okay. First question is, what is the primary goal of generative AI in the context of large language model? Very fundamental question. The primary goal of generative AI in the context of large language model is to generate human-like text and content. Option B is correct. Next question is, which architecture is commonly used in a state-of-the-art LLMs such as GPT? Is it LSTM, RNN, Transformer or CNN? It's, it's also, also very fundamental one. Transformer is commonly used for that. Option C is correct. Next one, what role do attention mechanism play in transformer based LLMs? They optimize memory utilization, they enable parallel processing of unit tokens, they facilitate capturing contextual relationship between tokens or they automate training processes. Option C is correct, they actually facilitate capturing contextual relationship between tokens. Option C is correct here. Next one. Which component is responsible for generating text in transformer based analysts? Is it encoder, decoder, classifier or feature extractor? So decoder is responsible for generating text. Option B is correct. Next one. What is the typical pre-training objectives used in LLMs like BERT, bidirectional encoder, representation from transformer? Is it language translation? Image classification, masked language modeling or speech recognition. Option C is correct, masked language modeling. Next question, how are LLMs fine-tuned for a specific downstream task? So, it is fine-tuned by fine-tuning with the task data and levels. Option C is correct. Next one. Which technique is commonly used to evaluate the performance of fine-tuned LLMs? So, if you want to evaluate the performance of fine-tuned LLMs, we use perplexity. Option D is correct. Next one. In reinforcement learning applied to LLMs, what is the role of the environment? So, the role of the environment, if we, if the reinforcement learning is applied, the role is to provide rewards based on model action. Option C is correct. Next question is, how do LLMs benefit from reinforcement learning? By optimizing memory utilization or by improving text generation based on feedback? By speeding up model training or by reducing model complexity? Option B is correct. When we talk about the reinforcement learning, the text generation based on the feedback will come by improving text generation based on feedback. Reinforcement means feedback, learning from the last exp uh, past experience. Coming to the next one, guys do share this video in every group and make sure to subscribe the channel before proceeding to the next question. Next question is, which type of applications can benefit from LLM's power text generation? Image processing, speech recognition, chatbots and virtual assistant or sensor data analyst correct option is option c chatbots and virtual assistants next one what is the primary advantage of llms is natural language undertaking task so the primary advantage of llms in natural language undertake undertaking task is contextual understanding option b is correct next one which aspect of LLMs makes them suitable for generating diverse and coherited text? Correct option is option number A, attention mechanism. Next one, 
how do llms handle long long range dependencies in text so llm handles long range dependencies in text by using attention mechanism across all tokens option c is correct next one what is the potential limitation of llms in in practical application so the potential application is high computational requirement is there so this is the limitation of llms in practical application next question which evaluate uh, which evaluation metric is commonly used to measure the fluency and coherence of llms in written text now again if you talk about the fluency and coherence or if you are evaluating the llms in written text we use technology like perplexity or we can say it is a evaluation metric option b is correct next one what is the primary advantage of transformer over traditional recurrent neural network in llms so when we talk about the ad, when we talk about the transformer over the traditional neural network the advantage is it can uh, it it will parallel processing of tokens parallel processing of tokens is the advantage if we use transformer over traditional neural network option b is correct next one how are attention weight computed in transformer based llms is it by using convo convolutional layers or by using fully connected layer or self attention mechanism or using polling layers option c is correct by using self attention mechanism next one which training strategy is employed in pre training llms like gpt so unsupervised learning strategy is employed if we pre train llms like gpt option a is correct next question how do transformer handle sequential data in llms so by converting sequential data into parallel data option c is correct next question how is uh, what is the significance of pre training in llms so significance of pre training is to enable transfer learning to downstream task option c is correct moving to the next question which approach is used to initialize the parameters of transformer based llms so for that we use random initialization approach option a is correct next one what is the purpose of fine tuning llms on downstream task so is to specialize the models for a specific task option c is correct next one in reinforcement learning applied to llms what is the role of agent so if we apply reinforcement learning the role of agent is to generate text only option a is correct next question which technique is used to handle out of vocabulary words in llms option is word segmentation word embedding byte per byte pair encoding or sentence tokenization option c is correct byte per byte pair encoding option c is correct here next one what is the primary limitation of using grady decoding in llms so limitation is it leads to sub optimal result option b is correct next one which technique is used to encourage exploration in reinforcement learning based llms so for that we use policy gradient method option c is correct next one how does beam search improve the quality of text generation in llms option c is correct by considering multiple candidate sequence next question how do transformers handle variable length input sequence in llms so transformer handles variable length input sequence in llms by padding sorter sequence option b is correct guys ignore the question number question number is written by mistaken uh, after 29 31 is there anyways let's come to the next question what is the primary advantage of transformer based llms over traditional language models again the same question but the answer would be different 
it actually improved long range dependency modeling option c is correct next one which layer in the transformer architecture is responsible for capturing contextual relationship between tokens so attention layer is the correct option next one how do transformer based llms handle position inf information of tokens in a sequence correct option is option a by using absolute positioning position embeddings next question what is the primary benefit of self attention mechanism in transformer based llms so the primary benefit of using self attention mechanism is it it is better capture of long range dependencies option c is correct here next question how are transformer based llms trained in a self self supervised manner option b is correct by minimizing reconstruction loss of input sequence next question which technique is used to prevent overfitting in transformer based llms so for that we use dropout regular, uh, regularization technology option a is correct next one what potential application can benefit from capabilities of large language model beyond text generation correct option is option d all of the above medical diagnosis and treatment planning weather prediction and climate modeling financial forecasting and stock market analysis all are the benefit next question how do large language models contribute to conversial agent and chatbots correct option is option number b by generating human like response in text based text based interaction next question is what ethical consideration should be taken into account when deploying large language model in real world application so it is bias in training data misuse of generated con content and potential social impact correct option is option a next one in what ways can large language model be utilized for content generation and creative tasks so by writing novels poem and short stories by generating artwork and illustration by composing music and lyrics all are the in all the ways you can utilize llms next question is now ignore the question number uh, question number is written by mystic next one how do large language model contribute to natural language understanding nlu task correct option is option b by analyzing and comprehending the meaning of textual data option b is correct next question is and this is the last question what are some common challenges associated with fine tuning large language model for a specific task correct option is option a limited computational resource and overfitting option a is correct thank you so much